Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most essential pieces of equipment that you need when you're into making videos or taking photos, apart obviously from your camera, and this is tripods. Sometimes the process of finding the right tripod for what you do is really overwhelming. And this is because there is such a plethora of different brands and different models on the market that choosing the right one for you seems really daunting. So that's why I thought that on today's video, I'm going to show you the tripods that I've bought over the years from when I graduated from the film school till today, that filmmaking is my full-time job. And hopefully this will help you make the right choice when it's time to purchase your tripod. FYI guys, I will have all the links for the items I'm going to talk about in the description box down below in case you're interested. So let's get to it. When I graduated from film school, obviously I couldn't invest on a high-end tripod. I was looking for something inexpensive that could basically do the job. And I fell on this tripod that you see. This comes from the Amazon Basics range and back then I bought it for around 50 bucks. I'm not sure if the exact same is still available, but in any case, I will link similar alternatives in the description, so make sure you check them out. Overall, this tripod is pretty good for its price and it works well if, for example, you want to shoot talking head YouTube videos. You can safely mount cameras like the ZV-1, the G7X or any other camera of that range, but it can also be used for mid-weight cameras with heavier lenses. However, you have to be careful as it's not super sturdy. This tripod is considered portable, but to be honest with you, it's heavy enough and not as compact and small as putting it in your backpack which means I wouldn't recommend it for traveling, for example. In terms of specification, it comes with two pan handles, which are pretty useful if you want to be a bit playful with your shots and try out, let's say, panning or tilting. But of course, don't expect miracles in terms of smoothness. It also has a built-in spirit level to help you make sure it's leveled and it has a quick release blade as well. It has telescopic and collapsible legs with three sections and a center column which can easily add some extra height to your tripod. Next one is the Manfrotto B3 Live. I've used this tripod extensively and for many years. It's not the sturdiest tripod in the world, but it's super light, small and portable. So perfect for traveling and small outdoor shoots with your point and shoot camera or even a mid-weight camera like a GH5 or a Sony a7C. It's got a unique folding mechanism that makes it super compact and able to fit in your luggage or backpack. By the way, when folded is around 40 centimeters long and it only weights 1.8 kilos. Cool, right? On top of that, the Manfrotto B3 Live comes with a B3 Live fluid head for smooth pan and tilt movements that can be controlled separately by two dedicated knobs. It also comes with a quick release sliding plate, a spirit level and a nice rubber grip on the pan bar. One of the features that I love in this tripod is the leg angle selector that easily allows you to choose between two different positions. Its maximum height is 151 centimeters, which can be achieved by fully extending the four leg sections and the center column which, by the way, normally has a gear hook to add stabilizing weight when needed as the tripod is very light. Well, after so many years of usage, mine is now broken. In the description box, you will find the link to the latest generation of the Manfrotto B3 Live tripod, which is more advanced compared to mine and comes with even better specifications. From this tripod onwards, we move to the more professional territory. So let's talk about my beast tripod system. The Manfrotto 546B along with the Nitrotech N8 fluid video head. This is the first tripod system that I considered it to be a serious investment as at the point when I bought it, I was already working as a professional videographer. This tripod covers a lot of different needs and ticks a lot of boxes when it comes to shooting videos as a professional videographer. It's extremely sturdy and whatever you mount on it, it's safe. 
The nitron piston mechanism of the head allows continuous counterbalance system for precise control of equipment up to 8 kilos. I personally use this one for professional shoots with my Sony a7S III and I usually mount along with the camera, the camera cage, a medium weight lens, a monitor, monitor's batteries, a microphone receiver and it just doesn't blink. It can accommodate everything from a small compact camera to a large cinema rig. Some of the features that I love is the quick release plate that is super fast as you don't need to slide the plate but snap it instead if that makes sense and instead of having the usual tightening rod you have a lever that you pull back. It also has a nice resistant mechanism with robust and well-built big knobs for any adjustments. Another feature that is worth mentioning in my opinion is the telescopic middle spreader that allows you to do super low shots. However, the compromise for all these amazing features is that it's pretty heavy, bulky and big and definitely not a portable or fast tripod. Depending on the gear you have mounted on it, you will probably need an extra pair of hands to maneuver it and move it around when filming, especially if you are as small as I am. This tripod is an asset to your arsenal especially if you're into product videos, as it's super smooth. In order to accentuate its potential even more, I personally added a second pan handle for extra stability and smoothness. Next comes the Manfrotto MVH500AH and 755CX3 system. What a name! This tripod, along with the previous one, is my go-to combo when it comes to client shoots. This one is especially lightweight as it is carbon fiber and thus more manageable comparing to the previous one. However, it's still sturdy enough to hold my slider with my camera and its accessories on it. I find its mechanism for aligning and balancing super fast and easy to use. The half ball leveling system with a rotating grip at the bottom of the center column for locking and unlocking allows me to level the camera without spending time making micro adjustments to each individual leg. I can easily do it on my own, so if there is no budget for an assistant, this tripod has you covered. With the center column, it's also very simple to add some extra height when you need to. I love the single side lock system of the plate as it's very easy and fast to place or lift your camera from the head. Some of the other features worth mentioning is that it is easy to set up as the legs almost drop when you unlock their flip locks, apart from the last section. The tripod also comes with a hook on the side to add a sandbag if extra weight is needed. This tripod is another great addition to my kit for nice, smooth and jatter-free movements. Last but definitely not least is the Travel Tripod by Peak Design. This is the latest addition to my tripod gear and it's the absolute tripod for traveling as its name shows. This tripod comes into two different versions, the aluminum one and the carbon fiber which is the one I own. I consider it to be quite pricey but if travel photography is your main thing, I highly, highly recommend it. It's extremely light, definitely the most compact tripod you've ever seen and it can easily fit in your backpack. According to Peak Design, it packs down to the diameter of a water bottle. It might not give you the impression of a sturdy tripod, but I quite often mount my Sony a7C with a pretty heavy telephoto lens and it actually does the job. However, Keep in mind that this tripod doesn't come with a pan handle, meaning you can only use it for photography or for static video shots. When it comes to this tripod, I feel that Peak Design has thought of everything. I love the fact that they have a special place for a hex tool on the tripod, as when you're outdoors, you don't necessarily carry an Allen key with you. How thoughtful from Peak Design, right? They've also designed it in a way that it doesn't have any bulky protruding knobs, only one single adjustment ring. It also comes with an omnidirectional ball head for easy leveling. Oh, and by the way, if you're mainly shooting with your phone, the travel tripod comes with a built-in mobile mount that securely grips any phone case. So, I hope this video helps you figure out what tripod is more suitable for your needs. 
Obviously, there are so many more tripods on the market, but even deciding the tripod range that is better for you is still a step forward, right? Don't forget that there will be links in the description down below with everything I mentioned. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really, really helps. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.